Now I'm going to try to uh, drill a hole right there and uh, my panel is countersunk into the wall and I do have a place to bring up some flex. So I'm trying to core a hole here. I've already kind of sounded it with my uh, with my fish tape and then I'm gonna hopefully I've got the I've got all the electricity off except for the electricity to the garage uh, so anyway uh, I'm gonna see if I can get through here but I've run into some wire right here and I'm using just kind of a cheap I think that's gonna be a one use only uh, hole saw here um, I pretty much I got three quarters of inch of of conduit there and I'm trying to and I put about one and three quarter uh, a bit on there just because it's going to take a little bit of doing to get the fish. Let's see how it works. So what happens is you end up hitting wire and then it stops your bit. So you're going to have to, what I do is I pretty much get these clippers and I'll clip the wire off. And then, so there's still a little fragment in there and um, so what what we got to do then is we take a screwdriver and I just pound it right back in there so this is is got a remodel so I've got two layers of stucco on this but it's uh, kind of hard going when you hit the metal so I was able to uh, get through the hole um, so what happened was there was it's a this was a remodel so they put some uh, they put some plywood in there and so I hit the plywood but then this bit got so this, this bit got so dull that it couldn't even cut the plywood at the end so I ended up um, using a another wood one so then then what I did was I put this piece of tape around my my uh, fish tape so it didn't catch the wires as you can see there were wires in there and so I did kill the panel. Um, well, actually, I killed those circuits that were in the wall. The other ones are in the garage. I knew that those weren't through, through the same route. These things are really tight. They're really tight and stretched out. So I don't know how successful I'm going to be with um, getting pulling up that, pulling up the uh, flax. Um, and I think I could have some trouble... I mean, I could pull it back through, but it looks like the flex is still gonna. It's gonna be. It's gonna be hard. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to pre-bend it. Um, so I'm gonna have to bend it to where it, it wants to take a curve on the way up the first piece. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook. I'm gonna take off this red tape and hook hook the, the snake in there so I can pull it up through the snake so just to be clear um, the snake is on a one inch um, knockout which is fortunate for me it's a bigger knockout I'm just gonna put a bushing in there to make it three-quarter when I'm finished and that's pretty much the last knockout I can use I've got ground wire in here between there that are that's kind of blocking the path it's gonna be it's going to be tight. I'll see. We'll see how it works. Okay, I tried to fish this through once before, and it kind of came loose. So, what I've done is there's a. I basically bent the um, fish tape to where it's got a little prong that sticks underneath this coupling. So you got to put the coupling in, and then um, well, you got to also probably be able to pull pretty hard. And then you got to really exercise this and bend it. A lot before so it really needs to get loose so the this flex every little piece in the thing needs to be super flexible it's kind of it's kind of stiff when you first get it so then I'm gonna basically pull up I don't have a way to show you the camera but I'm basically gonna pull up there and um, Anyway, when I'm doing this by myself, so what you do is you just leave a long length of fish tape and just kind of leave it over there on the side so you can just work the wire. Just keep the handle and plenty of fish tape out. And then I've got a long piece of conduit, so kind of my plan B, if everything gets stuck in there, I can just cut 
Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what my plan B is going to be. So anyway, um, we'll see how this works. So I got the fish tape up, but um, the problem is um, I can't get the fish tape out of the conduit. So now my plan is to um, cut cut a pretty big length of of this fish tape off. I'm going to cut my fish tape enough to where when I cut this, the flax, it's going, to, I'm still going to be able to feed, because I can feed the fish tape down, but I can't fish it, I can't feed it back up. So what I'm going to try to do is um, have cut a big enough piece to where I can still, you know, feed it through once I cut this off. Um, I'll still be able to feed it through and pull the fish, the rem remnant fish tape out. And then all you can see too that it's really tight getting that, um, getting that bushing. This bushing is barely going to fit. I may have to disassemble some of the ground. So anyway, it's not simple. Okay, so um, just to recap, I got this stuck, okay, when I was fishing up. I got the bushing on, and I had to disassemble this ground, and I'm going to reassemble it. Um, yeah, look at the main, you know, it's off. Um, there's less risk that way, a lot less risk, so better just to, if you got... I don't know if I have fish tape, you know, bare metal fish tape hanging around the panel. I think I'm going to turn the, the whole panel off. And so anyway, I got a kind of a clamp there ready to put my um, my box, ready to put my box on. But uh, first I got to get the small matter of getting the fish tape out of the, uh, out of the conduit. So let's see if this is going to work. Oh, there it is. <laughs> well, okay, it works. See, look at that. Real close to the panel, but it's not hot. So, oh yeah, I gotta, I'm got i going to fix that up. So anyway, um, this part worked, so it wasn't too bad. I mean, my hole's pretty big, but um, the problem was my, you know, the, the head of the conduit is, the head of um, this is a little bit bigger. Um, than three quarters. I, I just um, aired on this to have too much room versus not enough um, because the conduit, I didn't know how tough it was going to be. This distance, you need to kind of have a lot of distance there because it has to make a kind of a hard bend. So this distance here needs to, from panel to, that needs to be high. And then if, if you do have a big hole, not too bad, right? You just cover it up with that. So um, I think that's it for now.